Southpaw now for J Mac. And Zamora senses something in a punch, or if it was from a headbutt, as he eats a left now. And Zamora is very tough. He's in there very cocky. Showing machismo. Isaac. Look at that. Right hand. There's the left. The guard. Body combination. Oh. And that drops him. Magandang araw mga kabusing at welcome back sa ating Muntin Channel. Isa sa pambato natin sa welterweight division ay itong Filipino citizen na si Jacob Makalolooy. Kung saan mayroon nga itong undefeated ring record sa ngayon na 6 wins and 4 knockout. Galing sa angka ng mga fighter. Defense art from Oahu, Hawaii. And that's pretty much how I grew up. I grew up in the dojo and ever since I started doing Mark Ferris and I started to realize that my wrestling could really give me an opportunity to have higher education. And... Bago pinasok ang pagiging professional boxer, ay una nga itong lumaban sa wrestling. Na ang ama nitong si Chico Makaluluoy ay mayroon nga itong martial arts school kung saan sa edad na 5 years old ay lumalaban na nga ito sa wrestling at maging sa MMA. Sa edad na 25 years old ay pinasok na nga ni Chimak ang professional boxer at nakatapos na rin ito ng kolehiyo sa kursong psychology. Tatlong taon pa lang itong lumalaban sa fro kung saan nakitaan ito ng ibang galing sa ibabaw ng ring. Sabi pa nga nito ay nakasparing na nito itong dalawang world champion sa welterweight division na sina Errol Spence Jr. at Terence Crawford. Sa nakaraang August 27 sa nakaraang taon, ito ang pangatlong laban ni Makalulukoy sa fro career kung saan nakalaban rin nito ang isang baguhan rin sa fro na si Josue Zamora. Mayroon pa lang itong ring record na 1 wins and 1 knockout galing rin ito sa mga angkan ng mga boxingero. Samantala naman itong ating kababayan ay mayroon naman itong ring record na 2 wins and 2 knockout. Ginanap ang kanilang laban sa Smith Park Rico Rivera, California para sa kanilang 4 rounds bout. At ito nga po ang highlights sa kanilang laban mga kabusing. Last August and a second round stoppage at the last formation show in June. I was at the Derby Room in Pomona. I was the Filipino fighter, J Mac. Interesting background. Mentioned he came up with the martial arts, the Dragon Zen Gym, led by his father. Had aspirations of trying for the Olympic boxing team. Went to the tournaments trying to qualify. Came up short, turned pro. He has an Ivy League. And I was like, well, you're 24, 25 years old. Most of your classmates are on Wall Street making a bunch of money and stressing out about life. What do they think about it? He's like, oh, they love it. They'll be watching it. So shout out to all the Columbia Lions. And he lands a good one-two going upstairs. Trains in San Diego. And although uh, Zamoro came out with a confident jab. In San Diego is where he's at. So he made his pro debut in El Cajon at Cyclone Casino. His last fight was here in Pomona. And now here in Pico Rivera as he lands a nice left hook. On the fly too, J-Mac. Do is to finish his combinations to the body. That's something he might want to do because when Jacob is defending punches, he lands. in New Orleans boxing. Introduced the sport by his dad. He just teach him discipline, get going. That fights as an amateur. Turn pro, I was like, well, why'd you wait so long to turn pro? Southpaw, I always think, does he do that often? And if not, I throw the right hand because they're not used to. Feel out first round. Oh, shot landed. Eats a right hand. Does Jacob on the way in? Good action there at the end of the first round. Marv Nation and Pico Rivera. This. Jacob's got to be careful coming in from that southpaw stance because he has. Wipe the gloves and keep it going. Jacob does look like the stronger of the two, as if he can command, uh, control things on the inside. Right, back to orthodox in the black trunks. We've seen guys like Terrence Crawford do it. Yeah. Very uh, uh, great success. Real life. Floyd. It's Floyd. I mean, you remember Andre Berger versus Robert Guerrero. We oh, tried yeah. that, and then it didn't work <laughs> in his favor. Help for the ghost. Oh, yeah. That's the that's the fight that got him the Mayweather fight, you know? Interesting that a shoulder roll from Berto got him a fight against Mayweather. J-Mac in black. Not surprised at a Ivy League educated psychology major. Ooh, both of them eat right hands at the same time. Yeah. Uh, he would be taking his time. 
Now, to bring a little bit of psychology into this, I'm of the belief that... You're a psychology geek. I, I was English, but I love reading about psychology. Okay. Uh, I love reading it. I think that how you box is a reflection of your personality, and that even comes down to IQ. Okay. If you're a smart person outside of the ring, you're going to be a smart person in there. Southpaw now for J-Mac, and Zamora senses something and attacks. As yeah. J-Mac is holding on in the black. He's looking at his corner, bloody nose now for the Filipino fighter and Zamora senses something and he's on the attack, letting his hands go a bit. Jake and they're slugging it out here in the second. Jacob is very wide with his counter. Be sure, keep your hands up. A lot of blood on the right side of Josue Zamora. I wonder if it was a punch or if it was from a headbutt as he eats a left now and Zamora is very tough. He's in there very cocky. Showing my Showing machismo, again, to bring in the psychology, he's letting him know that the punches don't do anything to him. Oh, big right hand from Zamora. I think Zamora senses that there is a discrepancy in skill. It's like that. They seem to be landing a lot more effectively. Solid round for the El Salvador fighter representing New Orleans Boxing, Josue Zamora, but he's cut on that right. Zamora. I was at a fight yesterday and it reminded me that if it goes into the fourth round and it starts and it was caused by a head that they will headbutt, they will go to the scorecards. That's why I was question one for a co-feature. J Mac in black. Zamora in blue. And when you only have an amateur they have three rounds, some of them only a minute. Got more of a pop. Jab, jab, upstairs. That's what I mean. Keeping the punches straight and also dictating the pace. That's what we need to see from Jacob. Be the first one to throw rather than... The arena in San Diego is where Maca Lolo Oi trains. He was a wrestler in high school. So much so that he wrestled his way to college. So he has the wrestling background. And... Usually wrestlers will go to the MMA world. He's decided to go to boxing. The boxing will call to him. Hey, make sure that he's a well-rounded fighter now. He can wrestle and he can, uh, you know, strong. He has to go in the third. And there's similarities. There are weight cuts, so he's used oh, to yeah. that. Yeah, you would uh, have a good conversation with him, especially with the psychology background that you two have. Yeah, I got to talk to him after. Very absolute, uh, you can tell he's a very smart guy. I only wonder what books you guys are going to talk about. <laughs> Um, it, it looks like there's some more urgency in Jacob in this round. Yep. Because he knows that he can't. He lost the second round. He can't afford to lose more. And Zamora hasn't thrown much here in this round. As he moves away, he's trying to get away, but he's not. Trying to wrap them up, didn't. And, and that exchange was started by a jab in the ones, and then you see some of those uh, defensive deficiencies in, in, when he counters. Third round winding down, a much better round for Makalo'oi. Now that was a much better counter hook. He kept it very short. He also kept his guard up and he landed it very well. Fourth and final round. Mm, good jab to a right hand, very aggressive. Good counter right hook, uh, counter left hook. Left hook to a right hand from Jacob. It's when he's a better and lands significant offense. Yeah, you want him first, don't you? Absolutely. And it's also a thicker body. It's the wrestling background, you know? It has a very strong core, strong legs. And it's very difficult when you have a guy who's that much bigger than you in terms of his core and his legs uh, coming forward. And he's giving you these weird angles, too, as he lands a left hook. And he's like running in at times and throwing that punch. It, it threw him off because he kind of stepped in a little bit and fainted and then throw, threw that left to the body. Zamora in blue, J-Mac in black. Zamora looks a little tired here in the fourth round. Shot right at the belt. I think if he would have kept his pace in the first round, he might have even be able to score a knockout. Uh, it's interesting when he runs in like that and doesn't throw a punch, he acts as a foot, as, as a foot faint. A different kind of look. Mm -hmm. A minute to go in the fight. Mm, and good. the body shot does J-Mac. Switch back to orthodox. More good. body. Very aggressive. From J 
Jake of this round. Good quality of work, good fight for both fighters. Good right hand. There's the left. The guard. Body combination, Whoa. and that drops him. Zamora goes down late in the fourth round. Kinapos lang sa oras si Kabayan sa loob ng round 4. Na itong kanyang kalaban ay may pagkaangas rin pero walang paki si Kabayan sa ginagawa nitong kanyang kalaban kung saan naging focus lamang ito sa kanyang laban. At yun na nga, nakagawa ito ng isang knockdown sa loob ng round 4 matapos masapol ng body shot itong kanyang kalaban. Pero sa kadahilana na wala ng oras ay nasave by the bell ang kalaban at nauwi nga sa desisyon ang kanilang laban. Panalo si G-Mac may unanimous decision sa kanyang pangatlong laban sa fro Sa ngayon ay may edad na itong ating kababayan na 27 years old at galing rin ito sa panalo matapos mapalaban sa nakaraang June 24 ngayong taon. Panalo si kabayan may unanimous decision laban sa kadunggalin itong Cuban boxer. Wala po tayong nahagilap na video sa kanilang laban mga kabusing pero ang importante ay panalo si Kabayan. So yan lang muna ang ating video sa ngayon mga kabusing. Maraming salamat po.